Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we've decided to do a boyfriend Q&A, Q&A with my boyfriend. I have asked Instagram to ask us some questions. So we've got a couple of questions to answer for today's video. I've done the most popular ones, picked the most popular ones out. Um, and we've just been to Starbucks. We've got an absolute feast. We've got the festive the cups, new the new Starbucks festive cups. They literally are so cool. I actually, I, it's only like the 4th of November or something like that, but I'm so <laughs> excited for Christmas and I don't even care, I'm going to start celebrating Christmas right now. Christmas tunes have already been on. Yeah, they've already been on. We've, I've got my reindeer antlers out, I'm Since so Halloween. excited. So yeah, we've both got a festive drink, but we never normally drink like sweet coffee, no. do we? And but they we, do smell ridiculously sweet. Yeah, they really do. But I've got a ginger bread latte and you've got, got a caramel waffle a caramel waffle latte. latte with oat milk coconut milk the thing is we always get it I'm, it must be so confusing because we always get like oat milk or coconut milk but then i've got a five cheese toasty like <laughs> which is not vegan anyway so i've got a five cheese toasty in here john's got a sausage sandwich with brown sauce i have also this is jordan's jordan has got a toffee nut cupcake i have got a oh it actually looks so good a cran merry cheesecake muffin <laughs> look at that such a mouthful oh it smells so nice let's have a few bites before we get started i wish i got a nice latte because it's so warm in here mm. Mm. got indigestion already i need to take more mouthful very bready Look at that. Mwah. I love it when it gets to the middle part. <laughs> Dropping crumbs everywhere. Um, yesterday, I literally said that I'm going to start being like more healthy, eat more like vegetables and stuff like that. I mean, today we will be eating a lot of vegetables because we're having two roast dinners. I'm so glad we're not in my car right now. <laughs> we're in yours. <laughs> You're getting that everywhere. And brown sauce. Cheers. That's not too sweet, you know. It's actually okay. What's this is like? quite sweet, but it's nice. Mine's not too bad. Gosh, yours is sweet. Well, I didn't take too big of a mouthful. Yours is caramel, though, isn't it? Yours is so cinnamony. Yeah, mine's so even not. Ginger. Mine's not really sweet, is it? It's more like it's nice. spicy. So the first question that we're going to answer is, how did you guys meet? I feel like this is a good one to have first because it gives an introduction for me and this guy here. Take it away, Jordy. Uh, so almost a year ago today, we met on Tinder, hit it off literally instantly, uh, spoke every day, it got quite serious really quickly, and after lockdown had finished, literally met up straight away. We spent like every day together. Yeah, I mean it's been, well, we have been pretty inseparable since. We spent every day together, like afterwards, after the lockdown pretty much, and then we, when we went back into the January lockdown, um, then we just stayed together like throughout the whole thing so then it got really intense in it and then but we didn't start going out until you didn't ask me to be your girlfriend until march, march. like the end of march so yeah we were we were basically together but we weren't together yeah we were living together we were living together yeah but we weren't girlfriend and boyfriend it is good though because although we spend so much time together we d we literally never argue yeah and we just float around either your house my house or wherever it's crazy because i never used tinder like i've never used tinder before um since i met jordan and i used it for maybe like a couple of weeks and i didn't even go on it didn't reply to anyone and the one guy i replied to was you well i know i probably replied to a few people but like you know like i replied to you and then you replied to me but it was like you deleted tinder so it was in the, the space of like one hour like you replied yeah, so to me it was my mum that actually downloaded it for <clears> me <throat> and ended up swiping on Talisha. so helen loves me that's why i had the approval before you even realized yep and then so you deleted it yeah. and then you re-downloaded it replied to me and then deleted it and then it was yeah so Luckily, I got his Snapchat before he deleted it again. And here we are. Here almost, we are almost today. Almost a year. Almost a year later. Almost one year. Oh, I'm glad I got this one, not that one. Mine's not that sweet. See, I do, I do like mine. So we're gonna have to include this one because John and I found it so funny. Um, a brief biography. <laughs> 
it's just funny isn't it like autobiography here we go so my name is Talisha Hill I am 21 years old I live in Oxfordshire and I go to Oxford Brooks University I'm a third year and I'm almost about to graduate and I literally cannot wait Woo over to you so my name is John Gardner I'm 22 from Leamington I graduated earlier this year in business management and marketing from Nottingham University just got a graduate role so yeah that's our brief biography. Do you have plans to move to Australia or New Zealand? Absolutely. I mean, we don't have plans, but we have ambitions. We would 100% like to go. I cannot wait to travel around Australia. We definitely, since we met, we've always said that we want to travel around Australia. But now it's kind of changed to, we want to live there for like maybe a couple of months, three months, something like that. Test it out. Um, to test it out. We'd love to do that. Uh, so yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, definitely definitely would love to do it. We don't have any plans though yet. What else? How are you so cool? I'm not talking about me. My friend Katie has asked who waffles the most when drunk? Spoiler alert. It's Jordan. That's what she says. Yeah, I am quite bad at just rambling on just Jordan has a tendency of just blah, 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 blah. as soon as you've had a drink you just love a chat don't you? I mean so do I but I just prefer to call it being friendly yeah you are a friendly guy okay so I like this one this one's a really good question um, any tips or it's not really a question but any tips for someone who has never been in a relationship and is scared to be I like that one because I think a lot of people are so nervous or they put a lot of pressure on themselves to get into a relationship and you don't need to be like it's nothing scary is it and as well once you're in a relationship you'll be way more comfortable and you'll feel as though you're a lot happier so there's nothing to be scared of if you're scared about being with someone then you should they're not the right person like as soon as you meet someone that you know that you're meant to be with you just feel comfortable around them you'll never feel like scared or you might feel a bit like nervous and you get butterflies and things like that but you wouldn't be scared just for tips for someone who's never been in a relationship remember to always be yourself that's a big tip don't change yourself for someone else because it will always come back around and by you so yeah be yourself always be positive be honest and be honest. don't let anything if something's on your mind just say it don't let it build up i think one thing john and i have a really good relationship and i think one of the one of the reasons why we do have a really good relationship is because we if something's bugging us we tell each other but we don't argue about it just talk about it yeah i'll just say look jordan that's annoyed me a little bit you know and then you'll say oh I'm really sorry I didn't realize and then we kind of sort it out together without jumping yeah there's no point in shouting because it literally doesn't solve anything but the the thing is if you don't sort it out straight away if you've got something on your mind and you don't sort it out straight away then you up. do end up shouting and you do end up getting into these arguments and I'm not gonna lie we're not saints we have been in arguments before we have ended up like I well you've never shouted at me but <laughs> I'm a bit of a hothead so I've ended up shouting at Jordan. I'm realising that like if I just speak to you about it when I first think it then it just goes away and it's fine. Yeah just remember to be yourself I think that's like the top one and be confident. Be like boys like confident yeah. girls I think. And definitely make the effort because if it's not reciprocated or felt back then me, for me personally I'll be like... Same girl says is it always the guy, or is it always that if a guy doesn't put in any effort that he doesn't like you? No. No, I don't think it's, I don't think if they don't put in the effort, they might just not. Playing hard to get. Yeah. They might not know how to get a girl, they might not realise that you have to put like loads of effort in. At the same time, the answer is no, like, they could be playing hard to get, however, if it's lasting weeks on end, yeah. I'll get out of there. It's pointless. Exactly. So if it's at the start, then, and they're playing a little bit hard to get, they're not putting much effort in, then I think that they might, like, you know, it could go either way. But if it's, like, weeks, months, whatever, and they're still playing a bit hard to get, not putting any effort in, in with you, not making you feel very special, then I wouldn't particularly waste my time with that. Oh, no, you definitely talk to them about it. 
then yeah bring see them up on, on it and if not sack them up see you later hun okay when's the wedding <laughs> um when's the wedding jordan it's up to you my love so i have always 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 wanted to get married really early i'm i mean i'm 21 so i don't want to get married and have kids right this second but i do want to get married like in 23 24 25 around that age or like get engaged at least i'm actually so excited to get married i think now that i've found the one i'm really excited <laughs> <coughs> no me too i'm excited it's actually going to be so fun, a wedding. I actually can't wait. I think planning it will be such good fun. I know, I know. And I talk about... Uh, Jordan's mum and I are really close and we always talk about getting married and... Yeah, every time we get back from work, oh, your mum and I have discussed the wedding, outfits and everything, <laughs> or honeymoon destinations. So, like, what, yeah. what do you two actually do during the day? We just love a little gossip. It's so fun. So the next question is, when are you guys moving in together? well we basically live with each other now we do spend a lot of time together um jordan's got a job and he works nine to five most days so i spend a lot of time at his and i do a lot of work because he's not there so it's like a really good excuse because i'm in my third year i'm like knuckling down it's great um so we do live with each other kind of part time but we don't have our own place we don't have our own place so since we've met each other we know that we've like wanted to move in together so we have been very sensible with our money we've both saved a lot of money previous to knowing each other um so we definitely definitely want to buy a house um however we do want to buy houses and rent them first before we actually get our own house i don't know we obviously haven't thought about this in detail but that's our kind of plan that's what we would love to do and in fact it's helped us save as well more than anything yeah exactly jordan has just bought a house i mean you're well, in the process with my parents i didn't buy it yeah you did buy it 50 50 yeah yeah so but, you did buy it it's half your house yeah it's like you're you're married to your parents and you have 50 50 of the uh, house all right that's, that sounds a bit weird so jordan's parents are very knowledgeable about property and stuff like that so they have um bought a house with jordan and we're going to do it up and i'm actually going to film it house renovation series. house renovation we're going to try and get it all done within like two three weeks because it's not too bad no. and it's only well, just hopefully having like a yeah hopefully we don't know it's gonna be so full on we're gonna be there every day yeah so After work weekend that's really exciting that will be on my channel hopefully next week maybe might be the first video yeah, yeah so next week will the be keys. the first video next week i think it'll be great it'll be so fun and it'll give us a bit of experience because we obviously do want to do that in the future Going so, back to the arguments question, it could be quite a lot of stress and maybe a couple of arguments along the way. I don't think I'll be stressed. I think I'll be okay. I think your dad will be stressed. <laughs> yeah, he will be. Okay, and then that leads us into our final question, which is, what are your plans for the future? In regards to employment, eventually I'd love to have my own business. Not too quite sure doing what. Same I think here. I think we'd both like to travel around the world potentially living in different places get a feel for this like because i don't know why since i've been well since i was a young kid always wanted to live abroad yeah same in regards to like immediate future like next year when i graduate i'm going to probably i'll move either back home or move in with jordan's like family either one of them too and then we will be saving working i'll get a job working saving uh, for a house and saving for traveling and basically just grafting so much to try and get a head start yeah literally saving for pretty much everything we can because we would love to buy a house that we rent out before we go traveling so that we then have that like monthly income from the rent um but it is obviously going to be a lot of hard work and a lot of working to get to that position yeah. so this year is going to be heavy but it'll be good intense so but i'm looking forward to it though because i do well i think both of us like a challenge so having to work hard and actually see the rewards will i think be really beneficial for us both 100 percent, 100 percent, and i couldn't think of a better guy to do it with my love 
Cheers. Cheers. Anyway, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. There weren't too many questions um, because I feel like they're quite big in detail questions but if you want us to do another one then we'll definitely do that just let me know in the comments down below or on my instagram which is talisha hill underscore and i will see you in my next video which will be next week the house renovation starts and you better be tuned in for that because it will be so exciting ciao ciao peace out